What's up guys? Welcome to my house. Some of you may be familiar with uh, this setting considering I've sat here before. Uh, you may remember. In this video where I made this and I made this and a couple other things in this room. Reason we're in my house is because I'm literally about to undertake what I, yeah, no, it's definitely the biggest and most ridiculous project in my life. So we've been upstairs, we just did a couple bedrooms, we did a closet, we, we found a fireplace. What a surprise, ah! Ah! Which was awesome. We're about four weeks away from my wedding and um, like three. three weeks, four, three weeks from the wedding. Less than a month. We are less than a month away from my wedding. And I feel like that is the perfect time to demo your entire first floor, right? Wrong. Well, regardless, it's gonna happen. <laughs> so, before I take you through the house and show you what we're gonna be doing, I gotta clean up real quick, hold on. <laughs> this sweeper is kinda nice. Could be my first time using it. Not bad, Decent, decently read up. We are now in the dining room. And yes, that's a Peloton and a desk. So you can kind of get the flow through of the house. So to get started, what inspired all of this was an opportunity to do new flooring that started upstairs, as you guys know. And if you don't know, check out this video. We want to continue that throughout the entire house, which is kind of, kind of the reason that we're gonna be tearing the whole thing to pieces. So to start out, my vision is to take this wall and smush it this way, kind of get rid of it. And as you can see, we got some really tall archways with this beautiful, I don't even know what you call that. And to go with it, they're like 10 inches thick. So we're losing a lot of floor space in the room because of the thickness of the walls. So we're gonna knock a couple of those down and create a little bit of better egress and see if we can bring this the whole way up. Um, this is not a load bearing wall because the floor joists run this way and uh, there shouldn't be an issue. Come here, come here, I'm gonna show you guys something. These are my floors. This is Hank, by the way. Say hi, Hank. Hank. And this is Duke. Dukey's, Dukey's way from here. I know, Dukey. Hi, hi. These are the, <laughs> I know, watch out, Duke. So these are my floors existing. These are those beautiful floors that everyone was loving and not understanding why I would cover them up in the bedroom remodel. Well, if you can't tell from this angle, let me get closer. You can see just how awful they actually are. I'm gonna do a little pan. That's, that's a massive uh, crater because these are made of Douglas fir. And if you're not familiar with wood species, yet happen to be a flooring expert, which happens quite often, Douglas fir is a very soft wood. The dining room flows into the kitchen. So the goal here is we're gonna bring all the cabinets up. Get rid of that bulkhead, right? And uh, then do a new backsplash, a concrete countertop to run the whole way across. I don't need new appliances because I just bought these. And Sarah happens to be making, she's making, we're making homemade pasta tonight. Ravioli, she's making some marinara. It's not bubbling yet, but if you could smell it. Out of the kitchen, whoop, into the entryway. So this is where you come into the house. Now it's not a big house. You can see we're right back into the living room, but because there's so many damn walls, they make it seem super claustrophobic. This is a traditional four square, so you walk into the house and it's just boom, compartmentalized everywhere, right? Boom, one, two, three, four, like that's the, I think that's the concept. I don't really know the concept of a four square. If that's it, if you know, tell me. I wanna know down below in the comments. But anyway, so you can see the, I barely fit through this doorway because I'm very wide. So we also want to eventually, I think, get rid of this awful closet, my deer head, and uh, potentially take the stairwell and turn it. So it's, it's, it's now coming straight into the house. And we're gonna, yeah, yeah, we're gonna take care of the closet regardless of what we do with the staircase. The staircase is gonna be down the line. Um, I don't know, let me know what you guys think about the staircase. It's, it's not in terrible shape, I just don't like the actual shape of it because it turns down and takes up a ton of space. So, 
clip back to me. Sam is standing at the entryway that you can kind of see I started to paint and I started not to paint. And uh, it's got this cool pocket door. That's actually not that cool. Yeah, it's awful. It's a uh, it's, it's not original, it's very old, and it's very crappy. So I want to, what we, can, what we know we can do, because that is a load bearing wall, is open it up at least to the width of the door. And that would make this whole entry kind of feel a lot bigger. And then you're back into the living room where we happen to be watching Off the Ranch. I think we were on an episode of that. We were. Pretty much the game plan, as you can tell, is we wanna open up these walls. Now, a bunch of concerns that are already happening here is if you, if you see the floors um, like up close, we've got all of our air ducting and returns are in the floors. That stuff's gonna be needing addressed. Fortunately, my uncle is a union uh, HVAC guy and has already come in, told me we should be good, and is a fantastic character. I'm praying we can, no, we're, we're just gonna force him on camera. We'll get Stush on camera. Right. Everyone needs to see Uncle Stush. Also got electrical to deal with, and the house was redone probably 20, 25, 20 years ago, Sarah? 2007. 2007, which was 12 teen years ago. <laughs> Um, and they put some new electrical in. That's why the kitchen doesn't look horribly outdated, but it's literally the only room in the house that they did. Um, so we're gonna be dealing with a little bit of electrical. There's knob and tube in the walls. We think it's dead. We pray it's dead. Hopefully we don't run any issues there. As well as um, the, all of the walls are textured. And if you're not familiar with textured walls, they're like, they're the spawn of Satan. And they're, they're really difficult to, to mimic and uh, they're really difficult to patch. So we may, we may have to sand this entire house by hand. But we won't know that until we get into it. Uh, so those are like the most pressing matters right now that are at the top, of, the top of our list. We've got a kitchen coming in from a local kitchen manufacturer. It should be killer. Um, we're really excited about it. Opening up a house like this uh, isn't like the biggest change in renovation. We're not doing any crazy like beams across the whole thing. Um, so th I think the timeline of pre-wedding three weeks, we should definitely be able to get this done because I'm the most ambitious builder on the planet. So if you guys wanna watch me just completely destroy my house a couple weeks out before my wedding, um, Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and you like this one. And make sure you're tuning into the next episode where we're going to start ripping shit out of this place and uh, hopefully not running into too many issues. Catch you guys in the next one.